Hi, it's Kari Matthews of Prairie Quilting. And today we are going to be making a fun baby quilt. It's called Little Dino Star. And the pattern is available through my website, prairiequilting.com. All right, for this Little Dino Star quilt, we are going to be using Baby Dino Flannel. Um, it's from Benertex and it's really cute. There's a lot of fun patterns, little dinosaurs, stripes, kind of um, triangular, they almost look like little rocks or something. So anyway, this will be fun to work with. All right, we're going to be making the dino block and I call it that because there's this cute dinosaur fabric in the middle. We will need, we're gonna be making strip sets. We're gonna be making the green version um, in the video. So we'll cut the strip sets into units to be used in square. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for the dino block, we are going to be making the strip sets and we are going to connect a lime and a gray triangle strip together, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and sew those on the long sides um, using our quarter inch seam foot as usual. Okay, and just go down the long lane. We're gonna be doing one full strip and then a half strip. For each of the two colors. So there's the lime blocks and then there's the yellow blocks. All right, now we are going to go ahead and match up the other lime strip on the other side. Okay, so we are going to connect that strip on the other side of the gray now to make our strip set. And then we will cut our pieces um, from the strip set. All right. I have three boys, so I like little boy quilts and things. My three boys are almost all grown though. Two of them are working on airplanes and one of them is still in school. Okay, we're going to press the strip set that we just um, sewed together. And so I'm gonna, you can press really either anyway, honestly, because this one doesn't butt up against any seams. So I'm gonna press this um, toward the gray, okay? And honestly, the flannel is not going to show through, so it's really not that big of a deal. Oops. Okay. And I'm trying not to distort the fabric too much here. So I don't want to stretch it out. So I have accurate sections and keep a straight strip set. All right. Okay, we are going to cut sections from this, um, this strip set. Okay, so I have laid it out on the, um, the line and just mash it up with a line to make sure it's straight. And I have given it a clean cut. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting all the different sections that I need from this um, particular strip. Okay, so I'm just gonna line it up and cut my strips, okay? So I would cut all the strips I need from this color set. Okay, so I've got the parts for this particular block here together. Um, first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew our um, our squares, our gray squares to the ends of two of these, okay? And then we are going to sew, so I'm gonna get those ready, all right? And then we are going to, this will be in the middle, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and connect two of these, one to either side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just sew one side for now. So let's go ahead and get these ready and go over to the machine. 
All right, so I do like assembly line sewing, so I did combine kind of a couple steps in the, from the pattern so I don't have to visit the pressing station as often. All right, so there's one. And I'm just keeping that quarter inch seam allowance. And again, if you'd like to use pins, go ahead and use pins. That's great. All right, now we're going to take the and put the gray squares on the other side of this little section. Okay, so we'll match that. We'll match this one up, and these prints are not directional, so. We don't have to worry about that. And then our last section here goes on the opposite side from the other one. Okay, we'll line that up. Let's go ahead and stitch. All right, there's one. This flannel is so cute. It's just, I don't know, this would make a big, great baby quilt. Okay, let's go and press those open. Okay, to press the sections, I'm pressing away from the bulk. So I'm gonna press this one toward the middle. Okay. I like to press from the, bottom side first and then give it a top press. I like to use steam too and some people don't and I think it's a personal preference so. I just try to be careful not to, you know, stretch the fabric out. Okay, and on these gray, I'm gonna go out toward the gray on these. And the top. All right. Now I'm going to use pins and we're going to pin. We've got two intersections where these meet. So we'll go ahead and pin those. All right. So I'm going to, um, I don't know if you can see that through the seams nest. Okay. They're going opposite directions. One's ironed this way and one's pressed the other way. One's pressed this way and one's pressed the opposite direction. So those nest, okay. And let's see here. We'll make sure, and you can feel with your fingers if they're overlapping or if they're butted up against each other and you want them butted up against each other and not overlapping. Okay, we'll go ahead and sew this next seam. All right, here we are at the machine. I've got my um, foot, I'm gonna put my needle down in. That way I can kind of maneuver the fabric as I get close and stop for my pins. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and pin the other side. All right, so I've got my other section and I'm gonna, once again, check for nesting seams with my fingers and that, that feels good. And these guys are butted up against each other. All right, let's sew this last seam for this block. And this really doesn't matter which direction you press, but it looks like there's more bulk on the outside. So I'm just going to press toward the center. All right. 
right, so there is our dino block with all of our little dinosaurs. Okay, we're gonna be making the star block. Here's one version, and then we're gonna be making the one with stripes. And I will show you how we make sure all the stripes end up in the same direction, or you could just not worry about the direction too. All right, first we are going to need half square triangles. So we're gonna be making some of those. Let's get started. All right, for the star block, we are gonna be working on the striped one because this one is, um, we have to kind of plan a little bit more so that our, I, I, I want them all to go in the same direction. So if you don't care, that is fine, do it however, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to line up both of these together, okay? And so now it's very important which direction. So two of these are gonna go, the line is gonna be um, parallel with all these lines, okay? So I'm gonna um, flip this over and let's see here if I can, think about how this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna to need to draw my line this way to go parallel with them. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my diagonal line and I'm gonna start at the ends again so it doesn't distort. And then down the center, okay. And this one, they are going to go perpendicular, okay? So I'm gonna turn this over, kind of check and I want it to go this way, and they will end up perpendicular. So that way I have two that are perpendicular um, to this diagonal line, and then two that are parallel to it, okay? Draw my line. All right, let's go ahead and sew these. All right, we're here at the machine. We're gonna go ahead and sew um, on both sides of this uh, diagonal line that we've made, okay? And I'm using my quarter inch seam. Uh, foot, okay. And I would make um, at least all of these striped ones at the same time. So I make sure that I get half of them going parallel with the stripes and half of them perpendicular to the stripes. All right, we'll flip that around and go down the other side now. going to cut these apart on the line okay and you can use your rotary cutter for this as well it, it doesn't have to be exact because you've already used the line for your seam allowance okay um, okay so see how two of these two are um, parallel to the sewn line and then two are perpendicular Okay, and that's what we want so that we can all get the, the stripes going in the same direction. And we'll press them. I like to give them a setting top press and then just put the side I'm, I'm, I'm going toward um, on the top and then pull that out. All right, we are gonna go ahead and clip our dog ears just Get rid of some of this bulk. All right, I've got all my components together here. So this, this stripe, well, uh, just the striped square goes in the middle and our, um, our cream triangle squares go on the corners. Okay, so it's basically a nine patch and we're just now arranging. So we're gonna go ahead and arrange and there's that one and there we go so now all the stars i mean the stripes are are going in the same direction let's go ahead and we're gonna fold these over and i do like to kind of arrange this in advance so i'm gonna flip it i like to sew with the the side that has the seam on the top okay so i'm gonna flip these guys over get them in my assembly line way here it makes it a lot faster to sew if you do kind of prearrange it like this. 
and then you can just whip through a whole bunch of blocks. If you had all the blocks, you could just whip through them all. All right, so now let's go ahead and use our quarter inch seam. I'm gonna use my needle down too. I really like the needle down. Kind of my normal thing I use. Okay. Yeah, and I'm just kind of making sure the edges are all lined up. Okay, now we are going to line up the rest of these. I laid them out again because I do want those strips to line up. Okay, now we are gonna go ahead and I lined these out so that I can um, see and make sure all my stripes are still going the same direction. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to sew those last seams. I'm folding them over and sewing from the side that has the, the seam on it, the diagonal seam. I just like to be able to see that seam and kind of make sure and try not to have it flip over. Okay, there we go. Line those up and we'll go sew these ones now. All right, these are going to complete the rows that go in our nine patch. All right. And the last one. So, or let's go ahead and press these open. So I'm going away from the bulk. So I'm gonna, in this, the middle strip, I'm going toward that center block. Okay, and then on the other ones, it's gonna go toward the outside. Okay. And I like to do it from the bottom first and then the top. Okay, there we go. And last one. Okay. So now we will lay this out and make sure our stripes still match. Okay, or still go the same direction. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and pin. I'm gonna pin at the intersections and check and make sure those seams butt up. They are pressed opposite directions so that they they nest, okay? And we're just trying to distribute all that bulk. Okay, let's go ahead and sew this, this these rows together. Okay, I've got my needle down. And I'm kind of gonna slow down as I get closer to a pin. Pull that out. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm just being careful because I want these, I don't want to have to rip these out because I do want them to go the same direction. So um, here we go. And pin this one, matching, budding, and I could feel those two were overlapping, so that's why you kind of even use your fingers to kind of wiggle them together and match them up. Okay, and needle down again. Right, so to press this one, I'm there's probably less bulk on the outer side, so I think I'll just press away from the center. All right, so these seams are getting turned. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep them. Oh wow, yep. I'll just work with it here. Okay, all right, and from the top side. 
All right, and there is our star block. Okay, so our blocks are assembled and ready for um, assembling, quilting, and binding. I hope you had fun with this little dino star quilt, and I hope to see you soon for another project. Take care. Mm -hmm.